Hi guys, Harry here. Welcome to Scrap Science. I have an experiment planned in the near future which requires potassium chloride and so today I thought we'd make a short video on uh, just crystallizing the potassium chloride out of this you know, diet salt which apparently contains 50% sodium chloride and 50% potassium chloride. To start with I'm going to pour out around half of our I don't know, diet salt. Uh, this is just just in case something goes wrong we haven't used 100% of our chemical. Uh, I don't think anything will go wrong because this is a pretty easy process but uh, I think it's good to do that anyway so we'll get around I don't know what's in here like 170 grams in here we'll get 85 grams of our potassium chloride sodium chloride mixture Ooh, it's like smoky and there's approximately 85 grams of our salt mixture ready to go uh, before we go any further though I thought why don't I give it a, a taste test just to see if it does actually taste like salt as it says on the packaging yeah I don't know kind of tastes zingy bit weird yeah it doesn't really taste like salt but I don't know it's better than nothing if you're on like a low sodium diet I guess I'd put this on my food instead of just having nothing anyway back to what we're doing uh, I'll add some water to this just to uh, we're going to dissolve it all up eventually uh, I'll put this on the hot plate and uh, slowly heat it up once we reach boiling temperatures we'll keep adding water until we've got all of our salt dissolved and we'll just let that heat up and dissolve everything and we've got it to boil uh, it hasn't however all dissolved so we'll just add a little bit of water and keep doing that until we do have it all dissolved and everything has just dissolved in around what 125 mils of water so what we're going to do with this solution of our mixture of salts is we're just going to we're just going to filter it into this jar that'll remove any solid impurities that are left behind and away we go And now that that's done filtering, you can see the solution is far clearer and we can already see in the bottom there, if the camera focuses on what I want it to focus on, uh, we can already see a bunch of what's hopefully uh, potassium chloride crystals just crystallizing out as it cools down. Now using this method we can crystallize out pretty much just the potassium chloride. In fact it's a really good way of separating uh, sodium chloride from potassium chloride because the solubility of potassium chloride in water at 100 degrees is quite a bit more than it is at room temperature or what we're going to be cooling this solution down to. So quite a bit of potassium chloride is going to crystallize out as it cools down. But for sodium chloride, the solubility of the salt doesn't really change all that much from boiling temperatures to room temperature. So we'll hardly get any really, we'll get a negligible amount of uh, sodium chloride crystallizing out in theory anyway we'll uh, have to filter off this when it's done and hopefully it should be pretty much pure potassium chloride maybe I'll do a second crystallization just to purify it even more but I think for all our purposes in the future uh, the salt that is crystallizing out now should be pretty much just potassium chloride in fact this seems to be working quite well so I think I might as well just uh, do the rest of this as well well obviously my measurements of half of the mass of this salt mixture was a little bit out because this uh, first lot only needed like a little bit over 100 mils of water to dissolve it all whereas this one we ended up needing like 300 mils of water I think I must have calculated uh, I think I must have calculated uh, incorrectly Instead of uh, getting 85 grams, maybe I got less than that. I think I only put like 65 grams in or something. But anyway, this is just about ready to go. So once that's properly boiling, uh, we'll pour it into here, filter it, and then hopefully, like what's happened over here, all of our potassium chloride, or well, 
some of our potassium chloride will crystallize out as it cools down. It's not quite boiling yet. I don't know, it doesn't seem to actually want to boil. The bubbles don't really make it all the way to the top. Maybe we're just losing too much heat uh, to the water evaporating off. But I think that's enough of that. I'm going to filter that now. So transfer it over. Just going to hop that off. Transfer it over. And pull that straight in here. So we'll just leave those two solutions, let them cool down over the next couple of hours and we'll get hopefully a bunch of potassium chloride crystallized out. Seems to have both crystallized out nicely. Uh, I might leave these overnight just to get uh, the maximum number of crystals to crystallize out and so that you can see everything a little bit better. And after leaving them overnight, you can see not much has changed really, not too much more has crystallized out, but what we can do now is I'll see if I can break them up and pick them out and put them on some paper towel to dry and we'll see how much we've got so far. Yeah, look, looks like it's going to need to be filtered, so I'll get that set up. And our potassium chloride crystals are looking very nice. Uh, in a second, I'll scoop them all out of there, let them dry on this bit of paper towel here and we'll see just how much we got and there we are finally uh, all of our potassium chloride or hopefully potassium chloride it's all laid out there it's quite a bit of it I mean there's a lot more than I expected but maybe we'll uh, recrystallize it again just to make sure that there's absolutely no sodium in there the purpose that I've got it for actually it doesn't really matter if there's sodium in there but I don't think it'll be interesting to see if we can get relatively pure potassium chloride. So I'll just let this uh, dry over the next couple of hours and then maybe we'll uh, dissolve it all up again and then recrystallize again. So while these crystals have been drying, uh, what I've been doing in the meantime is you can see with this uh, leftover solution from when we filtered the potassium chloride out of it, I boiled it down some more to its saturation point and you can see after filtering again, uh, we've got some more potassium chloride crystals crystallizing out. I might actually go and put this in the freezer uh, just to speed up the crystal forming. And then we'll add whatever uh, potassium chloride comes out of this one. We'll add that to this and then we'll do our second recrystallization uh, with all of that. So in the end, we've got all of our potassium chloride from before and then there's only a little bit that crystallized out from this batch, but that's all right. I'll extract all of that, filter it all out, and just add it to this, and we'll continue from there. And that's all we managed to get out in the second crystallization. So honestly, it's probably not worth um, extracting the rest of it from this solution. Uh, and what we can just do now is do another crystallization of all this stuff to make it nice and pure, rather than uh, containing a little bit of sodium. So now with all of our supposedly potassium chloride, stick it on the hot plate, add a bit of water, uh, bring it to a boil and reach the point where it's just saturated and just repeat the whole process that we were doing before. Tell you what, these are some very nice crystals, very soft and hopefully very pure. And there we have our nice dry uh, final yield of potassium chloride. Uh, this is approximately 27 grams here, uh, which isn't all that good considering that in the original container uh, there was about 90 grams of the stuff. but. I don't know, we've been crystallizing it out. It's a little bit tricky to get high yields. I'm happy with that. I don't need too much for what I'm gonna use it for. So I think I'm just gonna put all of this 
uh, back into the original container. So I've labelled it, uh, relabeled it as potassium chloride and we should be good to go. Well, there you go. Uh, that was pretty easy. Nice simple extraction. Uh, we didn't get all that high yield, but uh, we didn't need to, so that's okay. I would kind of almost want to get uh, all the rest of the potassium chloride out of this solution because this is the leftover stuff. Obviously, this contains more than half of our potassium chloride, but I see this thing costs like two dollars, so I really don't care all that much. I'm just going to chuck this out and just go with what we've got. See you later.